Okay, hi everybody. We're working through the quadratic functions and equations review. We're on question 28. For what value of p does 5x squared minus 4x minus p have two distinct real roots? Okay, well they have two distinct real roots. That means our discriminant has to be greater than zero. So now we just grab the pieces out of there. So it's going to be negative 4 squared minus 4 times 5 times negative p. And we want this to be greater than zero. Uh, negative 4 squared is 16, positive 16, okay, because the negative is being squared. And then the negative 4 times 5 times the negative 1 is going to give me positive 20p. Okay, and that's got to be greater than 0. Now, to solve for p here, I'm going to bring the 16 over. So 20 times p will be greater than negative 16. And then I'll divide by 20. Now this doesn't change the direction of the sign because the, the thing that I'm dividing by, the value 20, is positive. So it's not going to change anything. So it's going to be greater than negative 16 over 20. And then negative 16 over 20 can be reduced to negative 4 fifths. So as long as the p value here is greater than negative 4 fifths, this equ equation here will have two distinct real roots.